Today, I want to talk about a bad habit I recently broke around hard coding credentials in my code. So what do I mean by that? Let's say we're reading from data, we're using various web services, whatever it may be. We have usernames, passwords, endpoints, these types of things, various levels of sensitivity, but stuff like passwords, especially API keys. We don't want to share these. I would put them in my code like this. I would set a variable and then I would pass that information in to do what I wanted to do. I simply wouldn't check it into my source control until like into GitHub or something like that, because hey, people are out there, they're crawling, they're looking for this stuff, especially if the repository is public. Um, but ultimately there are a bunch of different ways we can handle this and there's a really good way to get started. In particular, it's environment variables. And what really got me over the hump on this, what I think is really important, in continual, we're thinking a lot about software engineering practices for ML, is that the typical data scientist, ML engineer, you may be working locally. You're gonna be working with data that's in your dev environment. But when you start to move data into, when you're actually trying to get something into production, we need to pass your code through different environments. So for example, I might start by, at least from my data sources, I'm reading from dev or I'm reading from a flat file. I, ha I then check something in and a CI job runs against my staging database, which is much closer to production. I may not have access to that, so there'll be a different set of credentials. And then in production, I most assuredly won't have access, so there will be a different set of credentials that are applied when my code runs there. We want to follow a good pattern, a good practice, so that we're not, it, other engineers, other people aren't having to rewrite our code or dive into our code to change things like database usernames and passwords. And that's just on the data access side. There are a host of other services, compute environments, things like that, where this comes up. So instead of doing something like this, don't do this. And one simple option for getting started amongst many is to simply use an environment variable. And so in Python, we can read from an environment variable using os.environment, among other things, but it's really easy to set these up from the command line, command line, I can run something like export, you know, my essentially bash or shell uh, variable name, and I can pass in some information. Another pattern you might see is to have a little script that does something like this. Just of course, be mindful you're not also checking this into source control, but at least what we often see in an organization, they'll have a git ignore file and within that or within their template for their projects that git ignore file will say something like put environment variables in this thing and we'll automatically ignore it but i can run something like this so in, so now i can execute my code nothing is hard coded which is good from a security perspective we're only checking in code here not my actual credentials but two when we run this as part of a ci and cd workflow will our ci system will know about environment variables we'll be able to go to their secrets manager their tool and say hey the db username in this particular in the dev environment use this variable in the staging environment use this etc cetera, etc cetera. things are going to work a lot more smoothly following better engineering practice so Anyway, to summarize, if you you have credentials to connect the data, to use compute instances, to do a bunch of things in the cloud. In the past, I always hard coded these. It's a terrible idea, both from a security perspective, but it also makes it so much harder to deploy your code. You're not following good practice. There are a bunch of different approaches, but a really easy way to get started is just to use environment variables, export or set up a little bash script. You're off and running.